almost all of us can agree that what we've done in the past has not worked. Many solutions have been proposed to solve homelessness in Denver. This idea is different. It shows some trust that they're not used to receiving and some respect. And um, and that may be as important as the cash. In the Mark area. Donovan thinks giving cash payments to people without a home will help. And we see that combination of, of a cash stabilizing cash kind of income floor along with uh, support services as a, um, a powerful way to support individuals in great need. The payments will come from Mark's organization, the Denver Basic Income Project. The city and county of Denver has already invested $2 million of COVID relief funds into this idea. Mark says they received over 1,400 applications for money, but only 820 people will be getting it starting on November 15th. This is sort of an emergency effort to try to help stabilize some people that are most vulnerable and in need. The money will be passed out at random. 260 people will get $6,500 the first month and $500 a month for the rest of the year. Another 260 will get $1,000 a month and the rest will receive $50 per month for also a year. We are randomizing into those groups so that we can truly understand the impact that this has and have really good data um, to learn from. No one is required to share how they are using this money. The program is based on trust. Honoring the agency of these individuals to know what's needed in their life. It's another idea, Mark believes, is worth trying. Until we find something that works, we need to keep working. In Denver, I'm Kelly Rinke, 9 News. During a pilot program, nearly every participant wanted to participate in the research and share how they were spending the money. In order to qualify for the program, someone has to be over 18 and can't have unaddressed mental health or substance use needs.